Okay. We can like watch one Hinter the Destroying video or something, I don't know. Um We can like watch one Hinter the Destroying video before Black Ops. Internet historian. I already feel tired, man. Okay, what do you have? What 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 do you have? What's cool? Tales from Vados. That's the Corona video that I actually watched. Well, let's watch the new one, I guess. Okay, let's watch this. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Let's take a look. No idea. Fucking feedback. Thank you. Thank you, all of my children. We're here today to test the launch of my new cyber rocket. With this, I pledge to you that we will have a man on the Earth by the year 2030. But before we embark on this journey, we must talk about some of the mistakes of the past, so that we are not doomed to repeat them. Anyway, it was a sunny day in downtown Wuhan, and people were coughing into each other's mouths, as is customary in that one. You're going viral, douchebag! I'm a big pin man, and I'm gonna pull out my dick. February 2020, the virus is everywhere. <laughs> but some were sneaking out, others not taking it seriously at all. Off directly in your face! <laughs> people were outside going about their normal lives. Get drunk before everything closes. <laughs> it was time for drastic action. <laughs> so, the mayor... I feel so bad right now because I'm now legit reaction streamer because I'm a bit too tired to comment. I just want to watch and not say anything. And that's lazy. That's lazy as a streamer, man. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys can... Um... I just got another message from Twitch. Do a 30 second multiplayer commercial for Jersey's mic. What? Jersey's mic wants to run a 30 second commercial. I click that. Huh? Choose your favorite Jersey sub. What the fuck? You just got five bits for choosing your favorite jersey sub. So you guys watch a commercial and you click on your favorite McDonald's product and then you get five bits for that. Thank you, Ecto Watches. Thank you, man. What? Jersey Mike is some American shit, man. There's a new thing on Twitch where now companies run commercials. Like they're like, hey, Tommy K, this is McDonald's. If you click this button, you will run a 30 second commercial that will give you viewers bits or some shit. Weird. Mayors and governors from around the world gathered together with a solution to the problem of sneaking out while grounded. Snitching hotlines. So they want to collect data. Snitches get rewards. Simply take a picture of someone and text it to the official snitch line to put those rule breakers action? in their place. What's up, boys? Over here at Wendy's. Let's go. Yeah, some old man. <laughs> Instant justice. <laughs> some one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, man. My favorite. Um, turn on subtitles. People need to get the message. Send a photo and we will make sure that enforcement comes right away. But naturally, many New Yorkers did not take very kindly to this idea. So, they decided to text the hotline as well. Text after text. Is there actually a snitch hotline in, in America? Where you call people that you saw someone who doesn't... What the fuck? Text came rolling in. What a success. Was, Let's it's open it's the first gone. one. Surprise. <laughs> Turns out people weren't just sending in tips. They were sending the whole shaft. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Next one. <laughs> Next. In some Next. places they did that for a while. Next. Holy shit, Just man. close it. Some, uh, I can't, Stasi it's just stuff. going faster. Text after text was the same. Pictures of people giving the finger. Dick pics, edgy Blasio memes. This isn't helping at all. Sir, it's our servants can't what? handle this amount of erotica all at once. Well, save some of the more tasteful nudes on this thumb drive and shut it down. And so it crashed. But the snitches forgot the first Ooh, rule of snitching. Mm-hmm. Snitches, snitches get unmasked by state sunshine laws. In Missouri, they have them. 
Two weeks after their own snitching program went live, turned out it was all subject to public record by anyone who requested it. So not only is all of this information not anonymous or private, it's published indefinitely on a government website with zero redaction. Oh dear. Of course, I'm not going to put any of those details here. But if you live in Missouri and you're a bit curious, hey, trust, links as always are in the description down I below. I don't know shit about Bill de Blasio, but I always hear he's supposed to be the biggest idiot of all times. So I hear that a lot from Americans. Don't in Washington and Louisiana, people were unmasked too. In Frisco, Texas, they made an app for snitching as well. But there was backlash and it was terminated. In LA, the mayor's infamous snitches get rewards statement was walked back. In Victoria, a couple was fined $1,500 each for going on a drive to Lake's entrance and posting photos on social media. Jeez, man, imagine, oh, imagine someone snitches on you like that. Oh. My mom's neighbor was like that uh, above. My mom lives in the ghetto in, in the communist block and above her was a young couple and they were the most uneducated people, man, literally white trash, man. And apparently, they would always snitch on people. They would always call uh, the authorities if, like, something weird happened, you know? Fuck, uh, oh, man. What are you doing? Warned that if they do it again, they would be arrested. Except the photos were from a year ago. <laughs> we're not going to get everything right all the time, huh? and we will make mistakes. But worst of all was the UK. Nine coppers for yeah. one lad. Well, you really ridiculous. 194,000 calls in a single month had been made regarding people leaving their homes I thought without the voices. Would be the and tens of thousands of fines had been issued. The British have frowned down on telltales. There's even an old nursery rhyme. Telltale tit, your tongue shall be slit. You make any more noise, and I'm calling the police. <laughs> what Show am I what watching? You've got. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and yet, while normal everyday activities were being criminalized, regular crimes were being made de facto legal. Good job. The police do nothing around here. <laughs> and in major cities, it seemed as though everyone was going for the high score. <laughs> oh, People aren't afraid to go out on the street at night. What can we do to increase crime? I have an idea. In New York and LA, they experimented with reducing bail to zero, and it went exactly as you'd expect. But it wasn't enough. So they said, any burglaries up to a thousand dollars worth of goods would no longer result in the police showing up to the scene. What? So you're so this is why de Blasio is so hated? You're telling me that what? I can steal up to a thousand dollars worth of goods and the police won't even try to make an arrest. Well, <laughs> they can't well be real, maybe man. one day, if somehow they're identified. But you want everyone to wear a mask, too. Yes. <laughs> so people walked up to the buffet and had their fill. If you could walk into a store, grab what you want, Democratic cities go. did that. It's the Democrats doing that. What That's would shopping look like? Weird. Oh my god! Call the police! Welcome to Amazon Go. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. No one is stopping them. What Take the hell? whatever you like. Sometimes when I call 911, nobody answers. No lines, no checkout. No. Seriously. Shoplifters don't seem to care who's watching. Once you've got everything you want, you can just... Hey, Americans, man. Uh, you wonder why we Europeans call you a third world Go. country, man. Filling bags and backpacks in the middle of the day. This is America. This is you fucking... You can keep it going. Amazon Go. That's not even funny, man. It just shows yeah. your system yeah. failed, Good man. Morning. Good morning. Not enough crime. I'm back to Release the morning. felons. So it was ordered. Anyone who had non-violent misdemeanors, serving sentences of less than a year, or scheduled to be free in 30 days or fewer, was released. What you... And the results? Predictable. One man only lasted 37 minutes before being arrested again. <laughs> Another man was arrested three times in one day. First for attempting to break into a vehicle, next for stealing items out of someone's front yard, and then again for stealing a vehicle. And each time he was arrested, he just moonwalked out of there. 
for his seventh time he got arrested for stealing a vehicle. So apparently he's not very good at it. Crime rates went right through the ceiling. I watched a Joe Rogan podcast about that, and Joe Rogan said something like, I don't know if it's true, this is not the police's fault. The police, they want to do their job. It's the politics. It's the upper ups that, that, that fuck with them and give them less funding and less people, and they tell them certain things like, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's the lawmakers. Like, this is insane. This is madness. How can you fucking scream defund the police? The murder rate? The shootings and the burglaries went all up like this in New... Come on, what? Killing. Famous criminal time. Takashi69 was released early from his 18-month sentence and instantly broke Instagram and YouTube records with his live stream and music video. Other high-profile names asking for early release include R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Martin Screlly, and our good friend Billy McFarland. Martin Screlly is in prison? Ah, oh, because he, he did some shit with making certain medicals to... to, to Freak out time! Then some prisoners came together with an idea. What's your plan? Well, if we have an outbreak at our prison, then maybe they just have to let some of us go. Worth a shot. So prisoners at the North County Correctional Facility tried passing around water containers and shared a mask to get it. It worked. So you cannot make this up. We live in a South Park episode. This is... You can't make this up. And what? As 30 prisoners soon tested positive for the virus. But then administrators cottoned on to what they were doing, and none of them were released. Yeah, luckily, man. Jesus Christ, man. Speaking of people who should be in prison, <laughs> select... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Britties. We have forgotten about the important people. Guys, we're bored too. I fucking hate They crave so the hard, attention. Man. They need it. Without it, they will surely shrivel and perish. But when everything gets shut down and they're trapped in their homes and can't get on TV, they begin to go a little stir. Who is that? Dude, that looks like. That looks exactly like the thing from GTA 5. Where we do the jewelry heist. That has to be the thing from GTA 5. With the jewelry heist right here. Yeah. Ah, cool. Interesting. Okay, guys. Now I know we're all feeling the struggle right now. Without television and press following you around, you need to make yourselves trend. We need you now. Sorry, I want to do something. Legit. I know Rihanna. I know Miley Cyrus. I know Dwayne Johnson. I know Jimmy Kimmel. I'm 9x9. That's like a snitch boy. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a fucking mad lad. Selena Gomez, I know her. Drake, Ellen. Okay, Jimin. I don't know who Jimin is. I know Taylor Swift. I know Madonna. Cardi B. I hear about her a lot. I've never seen her. Vanessa Hutchins. No idea. Ariana Grande. That's the girl who used to be white and now she's black. Gwyneth Paltrow. That's the wife of... Uh, like in, in The Avengers. She's the wife. Justin Bieber. I know him. Billie Eilish. I know her. Josh Gad. No idea. Never heard of my life. Josh Gad. Uh, Kevin Hart. I know him. Kim Kardashian. Gal Gadot. Uh, that, that is Wonder Woman. Jimmy Fallon, I know him. And, oh, a Twitch streamer. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Blevins is actually a celebrity. Television okay. and press following you around. You need to make yourselves trend. We it's need you now star, more than ever. Jimmy, Jimmy, female Jimmy. You're the funny guys. You must continue working from home. Your biggest competitor now is a Swedish boy that reacts to funny videos on his kitchen floor. Sounds doable. <laughs> It was toilet paper. It was a huge box of... I was like a kid on the toilet on Christmas morning. 60 double rolls of heaven. You get to play that fun game, protected from the coronavirus or a botched nose job. <laughs> or both. Everyone in here is gay. Hello, everybody out there. No, no, shut it down. How about an uplifting song to boost morale? This could be our generations, we are the world. Yeah, I can give it a go. I love uplifting music. Thank you, gal. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you Imagine try. there's no heaven. 
This is not the time when everyone's Grammy's dying, you fucking idiot. You feel no. like they've, that they feel like they did something yeah. significant there. She's so happy. She's Gal Gadot, whatever fuck That's her what name I is, Wonder you. Woman. I lost my job at the meatpacking plant, but Gal Gadot Based. sang Imagine And it's today. a terrible version. You guys suck at singing. Yeah. Thank you. Oh boy. Madonna. How about an inspirational speech? Is that real? I can't. I'm getting old, man. I can't keep up anymore. Is that real? Uh, um, uh, 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 celebre, celeb, celebrities, uh, um, what's that, save the world? I imagine, that's not real. Alter Schwede. Only one million views, that's, dude, what the fuck? Oh, I, I disliked this? When did I, that was Marconi, that was not me. That was not me. Imagine there's no Hollywood. It's easy if you try. The only inspiring thing here is how the internet came together to say no. I swear it was Marconi, man. It was not me. You try. No hell below. Actually, one sec. I want to see if I know these people. So that's Gal Gadot. She's apparently Wonder Woman. I have no idea. There's no heaven. I actually respect this girl. I think she was really good in Saturday Night Live. Um, Curse, Kristen, Kirsten? Help me, Kirsten. K -k 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 Come on. What's up? I'm I'm waiting until you tell me. K -k 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 that Kirsten Stewart. No, no one knows. No, it's. Thank you, Mac. Good Kirsten evening, Wick. Tommy. Kirsten Wick. I actually like her, man. I think she was very funny in Shadow Night Life. If you try. No. Me and Lisa know this guy very well because we literally watched a TV show about him the last weeks called uh, 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 The Fall. He did a good job, man. He's apparently the guy from, um, his name is uh, Jamie Dornan. Jamie Dornan. He is the male leader in uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. And I think I, I liked the TV show about an below, Irish serial killer. Below us. Above us no idea. No clue. Only sky. Imagine... Our I, you know his face, but I don't know who that is. We all know his face. He's always, he's always the side character in shitty all Adam Sandler movies or something. People. Thank you, Bathwurst. Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman. For today. James Marston. Dick of us is there? Not in Ordnung heutzutage. Who did, what the fuck am I watching? No countries, yeah. It is. <laughs> Lisa, who is that? Lisa knows. Lisa knows all these people. I swear to God, man. Who was that? It's called The Gap, man? The Gap is bigger than my future. I, I'm legit want to know who that was. I don't know the guy. That's uh, Jimmy Fallon. I actually like Jimmy Fallon. Uh, SNL days. So I think he was the funniest guy ever in SNL. Isn't hard to do. Nothing they care. That's a uh, Star Wars girl. Um, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, Star Wars. Or die for. No idea. Imagine all the people. She's trying way too hard. I don't know what it is. You may say that I'm a dreamer. No idea. But no. I'm not. That's um. That's uh. She's a good actress, man. She's in good movies. Uh, she's um. Lisa, come on. Lisa knows. Lisa knows, man. Lisa knows. Amy Adams. Not the only one. I hope someday. No idea. You will join us. And the world will live as one. Imagine no. Dude, man, I like this guy. He's the Mandalorian. Peto Pascal, he's a good lad, man. Possessions. Imagine no possessions. And they showed he has 40 million in the bank account. <laughs> Who thought that's a good idea, man? I wonder. You know his face, but I don't know who that is. If you can. We, we know his face. No need for Will Ferrell, man. Hunger, a legendary guy. That's Mark Ruffalo, the Hulk. Sharing no idea. All the world. You, did I say that I'm a 
No idea. But I'm not the only one. No idea. I know her. I like her too, man. She was uh, at Saturday Night Live, and she was also very funny, man. Very funny, man. What her name, though? And an answer with Gal get it. Dude, who thought that's a good idea? Jesus Christ. Hey, that's actually sponsored by Lubu? No, Uplift. There's an app in Germany that literally has this logo. Um, wow. That kind of just shows how disconnected they are. Bro, this is cringe. Helen Keller. <laughs> get this. Getting shot is the second worst thing to happen to John Lennon now. Dude, it really shows how disconnected these people are, right? From anything real. Crazy, man. To lift those faces. I mean, Jesus spirits. Christ, man. That's the thing about COVID-19. It doesn't care about how rich you are. It's the great equalizer. And what's terrible about it is what's great about it. What's terrible about it is it's made us all equal in many ways. <laughs> and what's wonderful about it is that it's made us all equal in many ways. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe just stick to singing. This is so fucking messed up. What is this planet we live in, man? There's no more pasta. Oh no. Oh, that's Madonna. What's wrong with face, dude? Jeez. That's not Madonna. Is that Madonna? Holy shit. It's like... Oh my god. We're gonna eat some fried fish. Okay. Not bad. Let's try somebody else. Keep it positive, you know. Cause the last shit comes from motherfucking China. Thank you, Cardi. You really are the voice of reason. Government, let me tell you motherfucker something. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! It is getting real! Well, that was... Vanessa, maybe you can speak to your fans? You seem to have a lot of free time at the moment. Like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like... <coughs> Inevitable? Oh god. Oh jeez. We're losing- You will literally get banned for that on Twitch, man. Yeah. If you say that on Twitch, you're literally banned. Uh, that happened to that one girl. Dude. Jeez. Um, you guys in your massive houses and complaining isn't relatable at all. We need to meet them on their level. I've got this. Cry for a second. Who are you? And I was gonna do it by myself and then I thought, you know what? It's important for everybody But before I- This guy speaks Olaf and Frozen. Oh. Holy crap, man. That is so disconnected, man. But it's our fault. Can we normal people, we consume their products. We we go to every single Transformer movie, man. It's our they fault. Continue. But jeez, man. Add time. What the fuck? The name's know. Ray. Ray Khan. But you can call me... Is that a Ray Khan, man. What is happening? It's a sponsor time? Dad, look, I got you a present. Sponsor time? Thanks, oh, son. Sponsor time. Uh, okay, let's go sponsor. through the <laughs> cleaning is as easy as uh, story. Lights. Just try it. The tennis ball. It's time for an uplifting story. Prim Murty Pandy, 56, works at Mumbai Airport. Don't skip. Oh, Every they're screaming, don't skip. Okay, I'm watching, I'm watching. Ray. Okay. Ray Khan. But you can call me Ray Khan. I'm just mad because he makes better portions than I do. Dad, look, I got you a present. Thanks, son. Uh, let's go He's through the old made, football man. around in celebration of my new present. Wired headphones. With wires. Thank you, Emo, my bro. Six months Why, time. Thanks son? for the Why? great content. <laughs> You're responsible. No. <laughs> Never again. Oh, jeez. Gotcha! Wired headphones, you dangerous bitch. Wait, what? Huh? I can't hear you. I have my everyday E25 Raycon airbox. Very good commercial. I'll man. save you. What? Well, there's there's another one. one. Don't worry, I'll save you too. Now you two kiss. Six hours of playtime. Half like the price of awesome other premium ad. brands. Raycon good. Why is bad? Like Will you seamlessly connect your Bluetooth with me? Can I get a closer look? Wow, I love the range of colors they come in. Of course I will. Let me just put them in right now. Wow, they fit so snug. Wow, 
I very I think I'll put mine I don't in have as well. Headphones like this. Is there people in chat that have the same? My ears are so weirdly formed. I can't put them to my ear. If I put this in my ear, they always fall out. My ears are weirdly dot. I cannot put these in. They fall out. They fall out. I can't do it. Yeah, a lot of people agree. I can't do it. I have headphones that that have a hook behind your ear so they don't fall out. Thank you, Vendor, my dude. Just don't insert them into other holes. Hey, Doc, it's happened again. Oh. Come on, good. Wires bad. No, wait. Back at Cleaning is as easy as one, two, oh. three. What's wrong? Don't want to live in cyberpunk and have your brain all f***ed up by 5G? Uh, this guy's uh, editing everything in Photoshop. Bad. I'll just take a lot of time, dude. No, they didn't sponsor me. I don't buy know. Buy Raycon.com slash internet of storage to save 15% off your first order of the everyday F25 earbuds from Raycon. Good, good commercial, man. Add over. Banyans. Humble yellow onions. Onion. Six pound onion. Gripping the onion like a tennis ball. It's time for an uplifting story. Prim Murty Pandy, 56, works at Mumbai Airport. Everything was going into lockdown and he wanted to be with his family. But they were in Allahabad and he was stuck in Andheri East. Just fly. No flights. Just drive. Not so simple. Roads are closed to all non-essential travel. Did he mm, just walk? What to do? So he hatched a plan. I'll become an essential traveler. He started with the test case. He hired a truck and drove 200 kilometers to Pimpelgium. Bought 1,300 kilograms of watermelon. Mmm, so good! Come to terms with the already large quantity of melons we already have. And sent the truck back to Mumbai, where he had a cellar. Success. Wasn't stopped. Even sold the goods at a profit. We're an essential traveler now, boys. Time to do it again, but this time all the way home. So he hired another truck, got an onion permit, and this time bought 25,520 kilograms of onions. And the article says he disguised himself as an onion seller. I don't know what that looks like, so here's this. He then hauled ass 1,200 kilometers over three grueling days and nights through three states to get home. He makes it. Now to sell the goods and see my family. He stopped at the wholesale market just on the outskirts of town and tried to find a buyer for the onions. Except nobody wanted them. Onions? Anyone? Onions? Because of the lockdown, there was a huge glut in the market. Oh, that's a big onion. Look at that. Woo! Onions. Everybody loves onions. Onions? Onions? No! Daddy's coming home, and he's smelling of onions. By the late afternoon, he just gave up and drove the truck to his house to be with his family. However, the next day, knock knock, it's the police. Oh no, you're not here to buy some onions, are you? <laughs> and they were not. So he spent the next two weeks in the quarantine center, and he's still looking for a buyer Bonjour. for the onions. Bonjour. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and Nice story, I'm so confused, man. Is that what Zoomers watch nowadays, man? I need some hand sanitizer. When the outbreak first happened, there was one clear piece of advice from the WHO. Who? Wash your hands. We the cleanest. Both soap and hand sanitizer would work, but we Thank had plenty of soap. Tommy, so naturally, we panicked about the hand sanitizer. Awesome Good thinking. That's gold. And That's gold. And panic watching? soon turned to profit. Hmm? There's going to be a story People about the guy the who bought all the hand sanitizer and they knew to get in quick. And two of the fastest shoppers in the West were entrepreneurial yeah, brothers, guy, Matt right and man. Noah. They These hopped in their truck monkeys, and drove from town to town, state to state, buying up every bottle they could get their immaculately disinfected hands on. Hundreds. Grabba, grabba, grabba. By the end, thousands. 17,000 bottles man. in all. The plan? Sell them on eBay and Amazon at a huge markup. It was the perfect crime. Well, until the inevitable happened, they got everyone got super mad.
The New York Times, low on hand sanitizer themselves, decided to investigate the brothers, yeah. and they wrote an article. The unsterilized masses made complaints. I don't like this one bit. Please send the cops immediately. And then someone went to Jeff and told. <laughs> Jeff made their online accounts go to sleep. Fucking eBay Jeff followed suit. Band. Now there was nowhere to sell their goods. Then the law got involved, and the DA said, price gouging illegal. True. Me angry. Cool. Yeah. So the authorities called up Matt and Noah. True. Hey guys. Hey, good to hear from you. You too. I'm afraid it's not entirely a... I once had to write an exam about Buho. It has to be 40% over the price. If you sell something 40% over the market price in Germany, that can be Buho, uh, too high price. Cool it's cool illegal. Though. Oh no. Yes. Price gouging illegal. So what you want? Uh, prison or philanthropy? We're sending over a squad car now. I have decided to give back to the community. So the police pull up, the media too, and so Matt and Noah announced that they will be giving it all away for free. <laughs> they did an interview for television and wore this amazing Fairly shirt. Man. The pricing Fairly on business. Amazon was higher than was definitely higher than retail. Would you say you're sorry? No, I don't think that I would. Note. I mean, he did something capitalist. A similar thing it's happened like, in Adelaide, Australia, yeah. when a man bought up hundreds of packs of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. But that's then very he realized he couldn't man. sell it and tried to return it all back to Drake's supermarket. Drake himself told the guy to please leave. I told him that. He has a YouTube channel, by the way. Did he actually do that? But did little to abate the shortage so of alpha, supply man. and Fucking overall Drake. price gouging. But don't be too mad at these guys. They're small timers. Microscopic. Compared to China. Stop! Oh, sorry. What I mean is... Compared to the brave heroes... Hey, be careful, mate. CCP. We'll get banned with the battle net. This an outbreak. Xi Jinping, <laughs> you're our only hope. So a call was sent out <laughs> to companies all around the world, especially in the West. <laughs> we want you to send staff out to every retail store you can to buy up personal protective equipment, especially masks. <laughs> and ship it all back to China. Thank you, Xi Jinping. That, oh. What? Was? This is not real. This is legit a South Park. This is this. It's like a South Park episode. Like Xi Jinping as we need to pull everybody. We have to bring. They did that. I can't believe. That. All in a day's work. And no one cares. The scale no one here by China, the way is just scared ridiculous. Of be in the pockets. Millions of face masks. Three million masks. Two point four billion pieces of protective equipment. The moment is seven hundred thousand. South Park cannot be real. Also flown out on a private jet. We just wanted to ask you guys what all these products are and where they're going. Chinese Mafia, look at that. If you went out to buy a Legit mask Chinese in January mafia. or February and noticed that there were none left, it wasn't just because there was a big rush on them. It was because there was a big export. And then China. when other countries had a shortage, <laughs> the CCP swooped in to sell locally manufactured masks back to Europe and the United <laughs> the States at an escalated still. price. China's outplaying Only everyone, then later man. for them to be found defective and needing to be recalled. Got him again. Anyway, back to the hand sanitizer specifically. Mm -hmm. There Chi was a short. Doing a great job, man. So New York Governor He's Andrew Cuomo stepped in with a solution. It's up to me now. He unveiled his new line of hand sanitizer. Open the curtain, please. NYS Clean. A 75% alcohol strength concoction made by the humble citizens of Great Meadows Correctional Facility. Floral bouquet, little I detected, lilac, hydrangea, tulips. Oh, I'm getting a headache over here. This is fucking insane. Tulip. Man. They were capable of producing 100,000 gallons every week. It was much cheaper than any other product on the market, mainly because the price of labor was pretty much yeah. zero. Other f when I was working in prison, they, 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 they teach you that prisons are very dangerous for society in the way that prison labor is so cheap. Uh, many people don't want you to know this. If you want to get t-shirts, like you want to make merch t-shirts, you can literally call prison. Like he, right here in Halle, you could have done that. You can call prison and be, hey, I need 1,000 t-shirts with something on it. They will do that for you and you pay no money. Very, very small money because they're fucking prisoners. But they're by law not allowed to uh, advertise that because they will just t kill all the surrounding t-shirt manufacturers. The pharmaceutical Dude, items that disappeared fast were vitamins, very cough medicine. Thing, actually. And critically, inhalers. How many ohms you vaping there? It was tough for the asthmatics. 
already picked on for their <laughs> feeble bodies. Their weak lungs. <laughs> Embarrassing. I Everybody laughs at the asthmatics, Oscar. even if we, you like, know, I didn't pretend there, I would say nice things shitty, to their face. You know? The next big one would be gloves. Once they were recommended, there was a run on them too. And once those were out, there was a run on, surprisingly, condoms. The thinking man's glove. If you need to press a button on the elevator, or push a trolley around the grocery store, no problem. Just use your cock. Last story. In a medical center in Delhi, there's a gang of monkeys scheming. Son of a bitch. I'm in. True story, right? Some red-faced rhesus macaques, tired of their situation, go rogue. They bust out of their cage and attack a researcher, snatching COVID blood samples as they make their way to the exit. Give me that. No, Mojo, no. Put that down, bad monkey. They make a break for it, evading staff and guards, and leap out the window to freedom. Ray for Mojo. One was later seen in a tree, chewing on one of the samples. Ooh, yummy. In a further act of defiance, another was seen chewing on a surgical glove. Apparently it's become a big problem in Delhi. Monkeys everywhere. They snatch people's stuff and even break into homes. There, there's a monkey sitting in a tree chewing on a COVID-19 blood sample. And I, you cannot make this up. We it are seems reality that nature showmen. isn't just... We had this big religion talk today on stream. What if the reason for everything is we are legit a reality show? Turning man? peacefully. It's come back with a vengeance. Holy and if shit, we intend man, wow. to survive, we're gonna have to learn to fight back. <sighs> so anyway, with this knowledge, we will conquer Earth and rule over it once again. <coughs> oh shit. Oh no. It's here. And that's about- Very good video. I'm gonna sub to this guy, man. Holy shit, that was so my mate. We can always look, watch the new one, but fucking hell, man. I know this is like funny shit, but this is also scary to me, man. How fucked up this planet is. Ah, oh, gentlemen. Okay, that was nice reacting to some videos. Better plot than Prometheus. I mean, this is just mental, man. Fucking crazy world, man. And in the end, the world is a fucking fucked up place. In the end, all you can do is take care of yourself and leave the USA. Don't, don't, don't stay there too long. It's not good.